Hey guys, the RC here. Um, so I want to do a quick video how to adjust your overclock settings from the miner. So in this case here, I'm using T-Rex. As you know, T-Rex has done uh, the latest update, 0.247, and it's actually pretty good with the shark cards. If you have a 3060i, a 3080i. However, this quick video is on how to update your miner settings without MSI afterburner. Let's say you want to have everything in the miner files. There's a way to do it. So uh, yeah, this this is a video about it. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and download here the Windows. Me, this is a Windows tutorial, so you go ahead and download that and you extract that. And then of, after that, you're gonna have here a bunch of bad files, and here you're gonna have the executable uh, T-Rex.exe. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select this uh, properties on the XE. Make sure you select the compatibility tab and you have and uh, select here run this program as administrator. You want to do that because uh, we're going to change the overclock settings and if you don't have admin privileges on the uh, uh, executable file, you won't be able to update uh, your um, your fan settings, your your power settings from the miner. So once you do that, uh, you're going to go ahead and select here. Let's say I'm going to open here in Ergo. I'm going to mine Ergo. So first things here, you're going to have, uh, you're going to keep all the settings the same here. Uh, PX. Uh, just make sure you put, let's say if you're using nice hash, you get the stratum here. I'm going to put a link on the stratum generator if you're using nice hash. However, if you're using another, uh, another pool, you can keep it the same. This is your wallet dot rig ID. So this is here is the wallet here and this is a rig ID. I named, my, named mine 3080 Ti Ergo. And you're going to get here, the, usually the file will, j, j, the normal file will end here. So the settings here we're going to add start from here. So I have PL 100. Here we're gonna set the power limit to 100. I'm gonna have here uh, lock uh, CC lock uh, 1500. Here we're setting the core clock at 1500 megahertz. And after that we have uh, M clock 1300. Here we're setting the memory clock at plus 1300. And then you have a, you have a setting too for the fan. Fan space 70. This will set the fan to 70 percent. Uh, uh, power uh, power for the fan. Uh, after that, you're gonna save that, and you should save the bat file as is, and you should run. Uh, I'll try to have this. I'll put this on the description so that you don't have to retype it. Uh, but it's, it's very straightforward. I feel. What you like about this is that if you're gaming, and let's say and mining at this, uh, you know, well, like when you're not mining, you're gaming, and you're switching profile, uh, having every time to log uh, to log in to MSI Afterburner is annoying. And plus two, setting a curve uh, manually too, uh, locking the the core clock is annoying too. So this is a, like a better straightforward way that you just run the file when you're done mining, you close it and you're good. You don't have to worry about anything. So I'm going to save this. I already have it here. So you can type it. Uh, like you said, I'll leave it to you in the description. So once you do that, you're going to run the file. I'll have it running here. And then as you can see, it's mining. Let me show you just to show that we got the changes of the... Um, of the power settings so once i'm going to close this i'm going to run this again here this is running again you're going to notice that if you're getting an error here when you're getting the gpu settings intensities because you didn't set admin i've got this issue before you don't need to set admin from the bat file but from the xe like i mentioned earlier so if you're getting an error here is that you didn't give admin privileges so don't worry about it too much uh, once you have that see the gpu already set those settings that i wanted just make sure you don't put the wrong settings there so that you don't because uh, it will uh, throw an exception if you put uh, you know uh, a minus or something so just make sure it's all correct and when, when you leave that running for a bit it will uh, apply those settings and uh, you're gonna start mining ergo i felt for me since i am using them uh, all the settings and the miner is better for me because i like to game too and uh, i don't want every time to change profiles and use uh, afterburner all the time so as you can see here, it's uh, taking it. The values are applied. I'm, I'm starting to get 244 mega hash. Uh, this is slowly ramping up. It's gonna go even higher. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you can see here, I'm getting uh, 244. The fan is 70%. And yeah, we're not. Uh, we're, so we're mining on the settings that I set on the miner. It's quite straightforward. Uh, just copy paste what I have in the description and you should be good to go. Of course, you can change them whatever you want. I'm mining Ergo here on a 3 Ti, so you might want to change them to uh, whatever power settings or algorithm that you're working on. However, they should work on every 
Ethereum or any uh, algorithm you got the as long as you understand the syntax basics you should be good to go uh, so please subscribe leave a comment and take care guys